Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel and today's video it is another episode of Talk of the Hatters. In today's video we will be talking about that 1-0 Forest win, Robert Snodgrass and what he could do to help Luton get promotion to the Premier League this season and also talk about our next game against Cardiff City away from home. So let's talk about that Forest win and what a win it was against Forest. On the TV, you know, I thought it was a fantastic performance. You know, when you're in the playoffs and you are playing against teams who are also in the playoffs themselves, you need to get points off them. Unfortunately, we weren't able to do it away to Huddersfield, but we bounced back with a great performance against Forest. And especially with the, the way the game went towards the end, it made that win even better, in my opinion. I thought in the first half, we started a lot better than um, we, we have done in previous games. And... You know, we could have got a few goals, you know. We put in a few good balls into the box. And then we obviously got the penalty. In fact, I think we should have had two penalties in my eyes. Um, it was definitely a penalty in my eyes. Um, the referee didn't give it. it. It was the actual linesman who did. I thought the referee was shocking throughout the game. No consistency whatsoever. He didn't know what was a yellow and what and what actually was one. Um, I thought the offside dis decisions, they were, they were just guessing. You know, and it was really disappointing, like, performance from the ref because, you know, st stuff like that could actually really hurt a team, especially now when we are in the business end of the season. But anyway, I did think in the first half we were the better side. Second half, Forrest obviously came at us a bit more and obviously tried to go at us. The offside goal, which Forrest scored, for me, it is offside. The player's in an offside position. Unfortunately, because of the ball going in, Onyedima has to commit because Spence is like pretty much interfering with him, and um, yeah, he has to commit. He really, he really does. If he doesn't commit, you know, he's risking it. He really is risking whether or not um, if he's offside or not. Fred doesn't know he's offside, so he has to commit to it. Um, but yes, he he ended up committing, and because he, the player was in an offside position, um, you know, it it basically it counts really. It does, um, it shouldn't have been a goal. But then the second um, massive um, controversial thing which happened in the game was the sending off um, for Bradley. The player was in an offside position. It came off a Forest player. It pretty much the same as the first um, offside decision um, with regards to the goal. It should have been given offside. It wasn't. And obviously Bradley, he has to commit because he doesn't know um, if Forest are going to go clean for on goal or not. You know, if he doesn't um, commit then they could have potentially have scored so Bradley took one for the team there um, and then it made those last remaining 15 minutes you know not good for the heart if I'm going to be honest you know I was I didn't think we were gonna do it but they hit the post um, in the in the end they tested Shea a few times they missed a sit art um, at the back post you know you know, they had their chances, but we held on. We defended good. Um, we fought for each other. We put the pressure on. And what a performance it was against Forrest. I'm super happy with that. And obviously, it makes it even better that we've managed to obviously get a win straight from a defeat. Now, the a certain player that played really well in that game. In fact, all the players played really well. But the one good player which I felt, you know, made a real difference was um, Snodgrass. For me, if Snodgrass didn't start that game, I don't know if we would have won it because I felt that what he was doing was fantastic. He's experience, you know, he's quality, you know, that comes hard to get by. It really does get hit that, that, that what he brings to the side is really hard um, to find. Um, and sometimes that costs a lot of money to have that sort of experience, especially at this level in the championship. But um, Snodgrass, you know, his management in the game was brilliant. His deliveries into the box were brilliant. Um, winning silly fouls um, in in the midfield, um, slowing the game slowing the game down when you need to. He was brilliant, and he used his experience for that. And that experience is exactly what we're going to need from now until the end of the season. He set pieces is what's going to help us hopefully, um, especially when we're not playing well at times. Um, a set piece can obviously help you win a football match and he we know what type of player he is he's very good at his deliveries into the box you know he is a set piece specialist and with us doing extremely well from set pieces this season you know i really hope you know we see more of him contributing and helping us 
well, firstly, claim a playoff place. And then, you know, who knows what could happen after that? Could we do it? Could we go to the promised land, which is obviously the Premier League? But for me, Snodgrass overall was just quality. You know, I love players like him with that bit of experience. He reminds me, um, he's very quite similar to Lansbury, if I'm being honest with you. Both of those players, they have that experience, you know, at, especially at this level, that they have the quality and we're very, you know, fortunate to have those two types of players in our side because, you know, those types of players win football matches, in my opinion. They help lead on the team as well. So it's great to see. But now we move on. We play against Cardiff away from home. And, you know, are we playing Cardiff at a good time? They're not on the best of run of form in my eyes. Um, they obviously got beat by Swansea recently in a heavy defeat at home. I think they're struggling at home especially. But when we play against teams like Cardiff who probably on paper are expected to get something from the game. We just don't get something from the game. And I really hope um, we do put in a good performance. We start, you know, the game off brightly and um, with energy and go at Cardiff from the get go, because that's when I think we are a much better side is when we go at teams from, from the minute, from, from the first minute, really, you know, um, I have been to Cardiff before. I went when we came up in the championship and we lost 2-1 where Isaac Vassell, former Luton player, scored against us in the 90th minute. Um, they've obviously got a former Luton player in their side in Collins. Hopefully Collins doesn't score against us, but it'd be typical Luton letting a former um, player score against us. You know, I'm excited for this Cardiff game. You know, I'm more excited about it now after that Forest win. If we didn't get something at Forest, it would have put more pressure on us to get something at Cardiff, in my eyes. Um, but we need to get something. We can't afford to lose it, especially against a team who have nothing to play for. They're not going down. They're not going up. They're going to be experimenting with their side, playing probably different formations, trying out different things, because they can. You know, they're not, they've got nothing to play for. You know, some of the players are probably uh, trying to fight for some contracts and stuff. But they pretty much are on holiday, really. So this is a fantastic opportunity for us to get three points and, you know, get, be one step closer in confirming um, a playoff position. What, a, obviously, season it would be if we could claim a playoff position. Obviously, it, it, would, ev it would be even better, um, you know. Well, it's already an achievement anyway, I even if we don't get into the playoff places because it's been a fantastic season. But the fact that we're so close to it now, you know, only a few more games left. You know, if we can do it, it'd be nice to be able to do it before we play Fulham. Um, Fulham are obviously on the verge of winning the league. We know that's going to be a tough ask, um, getting something at Fulham if we have to. But, you know, it'd be nice to just keep winning, just keep going. You know, we're nearly there. We really are nearly there. And hopefully we can... Obviously, as I've already mentioned, get something away to Cardiff. I don't know in regards to the team selection, what Nathan would do. Um, we're literally really light in that midfield at the moment, which is a real shame because you don't want injuries at a key point in the season. Hopefully, these players would turn back. Clark, Berry, you know, Lansbury now, Pelly. We need these players to come back. You know, I don't know how much running Alan Campbell can do. That boy doesn't stop running. But anyway... You know, hopefully we can get something at Cardiff. If, you, if someone told me, would you take four points um, from um, from Cardiff and Forest, I would have said yes. But now, now we're in a good position. We've got three points against Forest. Let's try and get three points at Cardiff. What a result that would be as well. So two fantastic results that could potentially be. Let's hopefully, well, let's hope we can actually do that. But anyway, guys, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy um, this video. Uh, make sure you obviously drop a like. Um, comment below um, your thoughts about um, the obviously the win against Forrest, Robert Snodgrass, and also your um, thoughts in this upcoming game against Cardiff. Subscribe to the, my channel if you want to. Don't forget to follow me across all my social media. All the links are down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.